Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can implement the random forest uh, classifier in R Studio. So let's get started. In my previous video, I've already explained what's a random forest in very short little video. In this video, I'll be explaining how we can implement the same in R Studio or R language. So for this video, we're gonna use two packages. Let's load the library of both the packages. In the same package that we've used in my previous video, CA tools for dividing data into training and testing set. And one more thing we require for random forest, we have to load a library, which is random forest, which F capital random forest. All right. If you don't have, please install with the installed packages, these two CA tools and random forest. So for, for the first thing, we're going to first load the data set into our R studio. We're going to use the same data set that I use in previous videos as well, which is the social network ads. So let's load it. So random forest data equal to read dot CSV. Uh, we're going to load in the the file equivalent to it's my d drive okay uh, the name is social network ads okay it is the data set we are having and then we can use header equal to true right done so in which okay uh, one thing we have missed here is it is this all right done so now we can check this uh, data let's uh, check out the data which we have loaded RF data is the same data set we have used in previous videos as well. We're going to just predict based upon age and estimated salary whether per a person will purchase a product on social media or not. Okay. So in this case, first of all, we need to do subsetting as, as we used to do in the previous videos as well. RF data, we're going to just use the uh, index numbers from 3 to 5. Done. After this, we have to encode the target feature as factor. Let's do that. So RF data, we're going to uh, convert that purchase into factor equal to factor function uh, then we can use this uh, again we can use this uh, rf data dollar sign then again purchased and we have to specify the levels levels equivalent to c 0 comma 1 okay done after this what we have to do is we have to split the data set into training set and testing set and for that we need to set a seed value set dot seed okay set dot seed we're gonna just use again one two three after this what we have to do is we just have to use uh, split equal to sample split sample dot split okay we're gonna use and in this case we have to just uh, divide data set into training and testing parts so rf data uh, we have to use uh, dollar purchased then we have to specify split ratio s capital r ratio equivalent to 0 0.75 it means we're gonna just divide my data set into training and testing 75 percent data will go to training and uh, the remaining 25 percent go to testing set so in this case again rf train uh, this is my training set equivalent to uh, we're gonna use subset function of r in which we have to specify the data set which is rf data and then we have to specify split equivalent to true the reason i'm just going through it these steps very that that uh, fastly because the same steps we have carried out in my previous videos as well okay in case if you haven't watched the previous one please make sure you watch that because it's the same st steps we have uh, discussed in the previous video because i've used the same data set for a simplicity purpose again rf data and then we have to use split equivalent to false okay we have now divided data set into training and testing set we can check now rf train and rf uh, test this is the rf train data in which i just got three columns and we got uh, out of 400 300 rows in it and in this case rf test we're gonna have now 100 rows okay out of the 400 so 75 percent means uh, 300 went to the training and 100 I mean, go to the testing after this we have to do uh, also we have to do the uh, uh, scaling we have to just uh, make sure that all the columns all the independent variables are on same scale so the independent variables are age and estimated salary so we, i want these two on a same scale for that we have to just use rf train and in this case we can specify here equivalent to scale function we just have to pass here the uh, again rf train and we have to uh, rf train and just minus three okay done in the same way we have can we can do it for the rf test the reason we are using minus three because i don't want to include the dependent variable in it i just i just need to scale my independent variable that's why we're just ignoring the third column so rf test and minus three in this case we have just get rid of the third column and we have just put my data into 
Uh, you can check out my training and testing now. This is on same scale. You can see uh, the estimated salary actually generally have a more data, more value than the age, right? The, we can have a salary 40,000. We have an age 40. So I don't want that my estimated salary will be given, given more uh, priority or more preference than the age. That's why we have to do the feature scaling. After this, uh, the next step is to fit the random forest classification to training set. For that, we're going to just we have to make a classifier. I'm, making, I'm using it as rf classifier so it's my variable name equivalent to uh, we have to use the function random forest random forest okay this is a function in which we have to use parameters like x x will be having the dependent variable sorry independent variable so x equivalent to train rf train uh, rf train then we have to use the minus 3 because only age and estimated salary will be part of independent variables and y equivalent to the dependent variable which is my purchase so y equal to rf train and have to use uh, here dollar sign purchased okay so we have done the x and y and third uh, important one is entry entry means number of trees okay here we can specify 10 it's up to you you can just play with this number and you can check out how the data is answer is changing by changing that number so we have just uh, made a classifier with the random forest function in which we have used x equal to rf train minus 3 meaning is we just have to include the independent variables in x in y we have to use the dependent variables entry meaning is number of trees that we want and next part is we have to just now uh, make use of prediction we have to predict the tested results how we can do it do it so rf predict i'm just making my uh, one variable equivalent to predict function so predict and we have to now uh, put up the classifier rf classifier in it rf classifier and in this case comma new data so new data obviously it will be my uh, test one so it will be rf test and here we can specify minus three okay done done so now check out what we got in rf predict rf predict let's check out the result of it this is the result we got from the rf predict and let's also check out the uh, what we have in rf test so you can check now how my data has been uh, how results has been uh, for us you can see now uh, at one we have got at uh, this index number 18th 18th we have zero 19th we have one we have 19th we have one so it means some of the values as we have seen in the previous uh, algorithms also in classifiers also not all the data will be properly classified some of the data will be misclassified as well let's also check out how many uh, are misclassified how many are classified we can do it with the help of confusion metrics let's make a confusion matrix here rf confusion matrix equivalent to table function and we have to use the same uh, parameter uh, rf test and only the third column will be there so comma three so comma three and we have to just pass the uh, prediction which is rf predict rf predict okay so let, let's check out what we have in this rfcm you can see now uh, out of this hundred testing uh, only 14 has been misclassified rest has been properly classified so i hope you must have understood from this short little video that how we can implement the rf uh, this random forest and how we can get the results out of it if you want to uh, change the number of trees you can change it and you can check out how your result is changing with the change of the number of trees so thanks for watching guys see you next video